I'm Greg Sankoff. I'm the president and CEO of Juliet Marine Systems. I am the uh, creator of the Ghost Boat. We came up with uh, the name Ghost because the boat is intended to have no radar signature at all. The biggest challenge of the U.S. Navy today is how do you get in and operate in denied access areas? Well, today we can't do it. And that's what ghosts can do. Ghosts can go into those areas, loiter for 30 days on fuel on board, and leave without anybody knowing you're over there. Our philosophy has been that we will put up the risk money for R&D because that allows us more flexibility in uses for the product later on. You just can't wait for the government to say we want this. You need to be developing products like this and bringing them to the government and saying, look what we have. Are you interested in this program? That's where we are right now. This looks this way purely to reflect radar, but it ends up looking cool. Everybody that sees it thinks it looks like it's out of Star Wars or Star Trek or one of those shows, but it's really all functional. Every angle is very, very functional. It's very easy to drive. You have a set of gas turbine throttles for those jet engines, and you have a steering joystick, and that's all you have to do with this boat, is push on the throttles and move the joystick. When you command the boat to turn, the computers know exactly what they should be doing to turn the boat. A supercavitating underwater structure means that you have surrounded the entire underwater structure in gas. We can get about six or seven feet of clearance between the bottom of the command module and the top of the wave. So we can actually cut through waves without feeling them. Now, we're primarily focused today on the defense segments, internationally and domestically. But this whole forms a great opportunity for sport fishing boats, for jet skis, for high-speed boats. This technology can be employed in all those different product lines.